to you, my fellow Americans, you have been lied to by the media. Propaganda is not a new phenomenon. Thomas Jefferson said, the man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. And John F. Kennedy pointed out that it does not matter if the propaganda had a sinister purpose. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. These days, Americans fall into three groups. Those who recognize the propaganda, those who have been successfully propagandized, and those who don't care. We'll just leave them out of it for now. My message is for mask believers who have not yet realized that they are victims of propaganda and who also think it is no big deal to force other people to wear a mask. In fact, there are three enormous problems with masks. First, mask mandates are spreading fear and hostility that is changing American culture. We are less friendly, less interactive, more hostile, quicker to be angry with our fellow citizen. Masks are very socially divisive. There is mask shaming and mask virtue signaling. There's hashtag social compliance, and there's citizen policing of sidewalks and airplanes and restaurants. And in addition to hostility, masks bring a palpable sense of fear that is totally unwarranted by the facts. There are actual human beings who believe that others will be harmed if they don't wear a mask, and this is tragic. Second, mask mandates cause an insurmountable